Hello friends, welcome in OGuild, a knowledge and skill sharing platform. In today's video of Python Absolute Beginner video lecture series, I'm going to discuss about variables and operators in Python. These are the contents that we will discuss in today's video, that is variable declaration and its definition, operators in Python, different type of operators. These are the operators that we will discuss. So let's start. So first of all, we will discuss about variable declaration and its definition. So what is variable? Variable in Python is the type of identifier. I already told you what is identifier, which is used to identify the variable name, function name, um, collection name, etc which is used to store values which is used uh, store the values so how to declare and define variables simple rule uh, we have uh, one variable name valid variable name and an assignment operator then some literal values like integer float string or collection type so for example here we have declared the variable name name uh, its value is 20 and marks that is type of list type so uh, the rules of variable declaration uh, must be start from alphabet or underscore where every variable name must be start from alphabet or underscore this is a practical demonstration here we have different type of variables uh, since uh, python is case sensitive language case sensitive so here small uh, age and capital H are two different variable and percentage is type float and name and X is type complex uh, this uh, this line will generate error because it violates the rule because every uh, variable name must be start from alphabet or underscore here the first character is digit so it, this line will generate error, uh, error so this is the syntax error invalid syntax similarly the second uh, underscore age underscore age uh, we have write the variable name equals to 30 it is valid why because uh, every uh, variable must be start from alphabet or underscore so this is valid and next one that first uh, then space then name equals to ajay this is also invalid variable name why because no special character uh, is allowed between the variable name because it uh, violates the rule so it uh, here you can see first name ajay it is the var invalid variable name syntax error in this uh, scenario so this is about variable declaration and its definition now you understand what is variable next uh, we will go move on operators so operators in python so what is operator operator define type of operation operator define type of operation apply on operands apply on operands for example here this is a practical demonstration here we have two operands first these two are called these are two called operands and uh, plus is operator plus operator that is arithmetic operator and this is called arithmetic operation so similarly here we have to operand x and y and this is also operator okay this is arithmetic operator and this is a relational operator so uh, operate uh, operator define type of operation apply on operands so here x and y are two operands so this uh, uh, gives a uh, result 30 and false why because x plus 10 plus 20 30 and uh, 10 is uh, greater than uh, 20 this uh, that is false so this is a definition of operator next uh, uh, first operator type is arithmetic operator so arithmetic operator are used to simple arithmetic uh, operations simple arithmetic operation like addition subtraction multiplication floating division modulus exponential and integer division for example suppose a equals to 5 b equals to 2 when we apply print a plus b it will give result 7 print a minus b it will give result 3 print a into b it will give the result 10 print a divide by b it will go on 5 by 2 and give floating point result uh, when the, the modulus that is called remainder operator this is called remainder operator remainder operator so it will give remainders five for example when we'll divide five two two to the four and 
one is tremendous so this will result is one exponential uh, that is uh, power of a a uh, power of a to b that is uh, 2 to the power 5 that uh, sorry uh, a is uh, 5 so 5 to the power this is wrong 5 to the power 2 that is 25 so result is 25 here this is integer division integer divisions mean it will uh, avoid floating part so 5 division integer division give only two answer so this is the answer is two so we will uh, do the practical demonstration of this in pie charm so i am going to punch at pie charm so let's start arithmetic operation so we are we have a equals to 10 b suppose a 20 b 30 and c equals to a plus b first of all then print c and then i will save this and go to run you can see the output that is 50 so this is arithmetic this is an, then similarly minus will give subtraction then multiplication will give the result 600 and similarly a divided by b then save it and it will give floating point result and a mod b then what will be the result 20 because 20 divided by 30 is 20 is remainder similarly a power of b will give the result this is the power of 20 to the power 30 and similarly a this one will give integer division so 20 is not divided by 30 so similarly if, if suppose i am taking 5 and here i am taking 2 then it give result 2 why because integer division and if i will apply this it will give floating point division and similarly if I apply the mod operation here it will give what will it remainder is 1 so this is about about uh, arithmetic operation that we are discuss next one is relational operator the relational operator also called comparison operator relational operators are used to compare two values and return true or false values like equal not equal then greater than less than greater and equal to and less than equal to for example x equals to 2 y equal to 3 then x equal to y will give false result because not equal x not equal to y will give uh, well, true result x greater than y is written false less than y true greater and equal to false less than equal to here important thing is it is not equal but is x is less than x is 2 y is 3 x uh, is less than y so it is true so this is about relational operator let's go on practical demonstration of this also in pie charm so a greater than b this is about relational operator A greater than B then save it will give true result similarly we can apply A not equal to B it will also give true value similarly we can apply all these operators like A greater and equal to B here it will give true value so this is about relational operators 
now you understand what is a relational operator so next operator that we are going to discuss about logical operator this is also very important operators in python logical operator are used to perform logical operation that is based on some rule based on some condition which is either true or false so how, how actually the logical operator works we will understand by truth table For example, we have x and y, two operands, and these uh, values 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So the first operator x and y will give one value if both the conditions are true, that is, here 0 here also 0 here also 0 and only this condition when both condition are 1 then only its value is 1 so and operator logical and operator works if returns true if both left and right statements are true for example x greater than 10 x equals to 10 y equals to 4 x less than 5 x less than 5 uh, 10 is less than 5 false y greater than 10 y greater than also false so false false that is 0 0 it will give false that is 0 and similarly or operators and the truth table of or operators is like that we can understand uh, this uh, by following example so x or y so it will returns true if one of the either left or right statement is true so 0 0 will give result 0 here first x condition is G, uh, false but second condition is true so it will give one result so here first condition is true second condition false again one and both it also give one so here you can see x less than 12 x 10 is less than 12 that is true and y is greater than false but according to rule 1 0 result is 1 so its answer is true again uh, next is not reverse the result written false if the result is true for example x 10 y 4 here x less than 5 this is false and x less than 10 also false that is 0 0 and or end operator logical end operator here so 0 0 result 0 but not will reverse the result that is false to true it will reverse the result because inside that is 0 that is false and it will reverse the result that is it becomes true so let's uh, see in practical demonstration of this logical operators so we will apply a a greater than b and this is this is about logical operator logical operate operators operation or operate so uh, a and b and a not equals to b so let's check it's give the result true why because 5 is greater than 2 condition is true and a not equal to b again true then one, true true it mean true so it answer is true like this okay for example here we have 1 and now I will check the result is false why because first condition is false and if I will apply the or here instead of and logical and it will give true why because one of the condition first condition is false but second condition is true so it worked like that so this is about and if I will apply here not logical not so what will be the result now result will be false 
Why? Because it will reverse the result. So this is about logical operator in Python. Now we will discuss about assignment operator. Assignment operator uh, are used to assign values to a variables. For simple, this is assignment operators. This is R value and this is L value. So L value always must be variable name or location and R value is simply value or expression or some expression so this is about so here we have assignment operator x equals assign this is value r value this is l value so x equals to y same as x equal to y this is sort assignment operator this is called sort assignment operator it mean simply x plus equals to 3 mean x equals to x plus 3 similarly x minus equal to 3 means x equals to x minus 3 similarly x, these are the assignment uh, sort assignment operators let's do the practical demonstration of this also so we will discuss on assignment operation so simple this you can see A and we can do one thing a into equals to 2 what will be the result 2 so answer is 2 okay suppose a value is 5 and a this is will give the result 2 5 divided by this is integer division so this is about this similarly a divide by 2 this is floating point division then result will be 2.5 so this is about assignment operator now you understand what is assignment operator next one is very important operator that is bitwise operator so it work uh, bitwise operator are used to work on binary values binary values how it work actually work we will understand there are different types of bitwise operator that is bitwise and bitwise or bitwise exclusive or bitwise once complement bitwise left shift right shift these are the some example this work set each bit to 1 if both uh, bits are 1 same rule like if 1 1 both our bits are 1 1 then it will give the result 1 in 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 also give 0 result and or set each bit if one of bit is 1 we will understand it in practical demonstration so I am going to see so you this is uh, extra practical demonstration here uh, a equals to 3 and b equals to 2 and thus uh, simple uh, bitwise and his uh, apply here so how it could actually work first of all this 3 will convert into binary then the binary of 3 is 0 0 1 1 and the Two also uh, convert it into binary then binary of 2 is 0 0 1 0 so how it actually it is coming uh, you just know the rule that is um, code 8421 this is a code so uh, if I will write 3 then 2 plus 1 that is 3 so 0 0 1 1 this is 3 and 2 2 uh, 0 0 and 2 for in for 2 it is 1 and 0 similarly if I want to uh, write the 6 so 0 4 plus 2 equals to 6 so uh, these bits are 1 and say uh, remaining bits are 
0 so here this is the narrow and when uh, I will apply this bitwise and and rule of bitwise and if both bits are 1 then only 1 so 1 0 will give result 0 1 1 give result 1 both bits are 1 so result is 1 so 0 0 0 and 0 so this is the uh, reprint this is a result that is in uh, this is binary this is result uh, 2 so answer is giving uh, 2 that's why answer is coming 2 similarly if uh, we apply uh, the if we will apply here bitwise or so uh, 3 first of all convert into binary that is 0 0 1 1 and 2 0 0 1 0 so now bitwise or operator here so according to rule if any of one bit uh, bit is one then it is uh, one one zero also one and one one is also one then zero zero so it is the according to eight four two one this is two plus one this is three in decimal so answer is coming three next we will understand about next that is uh, complement bitwise complement how actually it works so first of all we are applying the rule C equals to complement of a so a uh, binary of a is 0 0 1 1 so uh, if I will apply uh, once complement it will uh, reverse 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 so 1 here 1 this is 1 this one is 0 this one is also 0 but if you simply see that you will say it according to 8421 code it is 8 plus 4 that is 12 but not answer that this is not the answer answer is minus 4 so why an answer is minus 4 please keep uh, see uh, carefully this is very important thing that you have to understand actually how it is going I'm uh, I'm explaining this so first of all a equals to 3 convert into binary that is 0 0 1 1 then then complement of 1 that is 1 1 0 0 but this is MSB and this MSB is 1 it means it is negative number it is negative number it is negative number why it is neg negative number according to signed representation rule of number the MSB that is last bit is if one it is so that is number is negative so how we will represent negative number so how we will represent negative number in computer we use complement two's complement we use two's complement so our result is that is uh, 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 by the A and this is A so how we will calculate the two's complement of this so again we will uh, first will calculate one's complement then add plus 1 on the result so how it will work so our result is one one zero zero so again I will apply once complement of this so once complement so one is zero again Z one is again zero and zero again one and, and this zero again one so then add plus one here then apply rule one one it means one and this is same, uh, same remaining bits are 0 so 1 and 0 that is uh, sorry this uh, is work like that not like that this work like I will explain it will work like that so our once complement of a is one one zero zero 
so we will calculate this is so negative number because MSB is this is MSB this is 1 so this is negative number so first of all we calculate 2's complement so according to 2's complement we will how we'll calculate first 1's complement then plus add 1 so uh, this is 1's complement how we will calculate again this 1 becomes 0 and this 1 becomes 0 and this 0 become 1 again this 1 and add 1 there so 1 and 1 addition of 1 that is 0 and then carry 1 here again 1 and 1 that is 0 then carry 1 then 0 1 that is 1 and this 0 and minus sign outside of this so this represent according to 8421 that is minus 4 according to 8421 code this is minus 4 so that's why the result is coming minus 4 so this is about uh, sto this is the story behind this now you understand next one that is that is bitwise exclusive or bitwise exclusive or work like that if a equals to 3 so first of all this is uh, 0 0 1 1 and b equals to 2 this is 0 0 1 0 so according to bitwise exclusive or if either bit is 1 that in 1 1 0 1 1 1 also 1 uh, 1 1 result is 0 1 1 result is 0 why because exclusive or work on either bit 1 I uh, this bit 1 then it, this bit will be, bit will be 0 must be 0 otherwise result is 0 1 1 result will be 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so this so according to 8421 code this is represent but it uh, represent this represent 1 so answer is 1 next is uh, bitwise left shift bitwise left shift how it works so we have uh, a that is uh, 0 0 1 1 bitwise left shift means this uh, one bit is shift from left side this bit is shift from left side and from the right side we uh, add 1 0 so now the number is become 0 0 1 0 which is according to 8421 code that is value is 6 4 plus 2 that is 6 similarly if I, I will apply right shift here right shift here so how it work actually let's understand so a right shift 1 so a that is 0 0 1 1 in this case from the right side this rightmost bit is shift so we will add one bit from the left side so the result is 0 0 1 and we have add one bit so this is the result according to 8421 code that is 1 so answer is one. So this is about uh, the bitwise operator. So let's uh, do practical demonstration of this of bitwise operator. So A is uh, suppose A is three and B is two. We have taken. So first of all, we will uh, calculate bitwise and. and so a and b and and we will see what will be the result okay so i will save this and you will you can see the output is 2 that we have discussed the output is 2 and next one is suppose we I am applying or here and execute again 
then you will see the output is 3 according to the topic that we have discussed bitwise or 3 next again we will apply uh, complement complement of A this is complement operator and when I will execute you can see the output is minus 4 it is minus 4 result so this is clear then next one is A exclusive this is caret symbol exclusive or A exclusive B when I will save this and execute this you can see the output is that is output is 1 and next one left shift A left shift 1 then it value is bitwise left shift its value is 6 according to our rule this is the value 6 and next bitwise right shift right shift will shift the bit from right side MSB so when I will execute it will give result 1 this is our result so now you understand uh, bitwise operator clearly so this is about bitwise operator the next operator that we will discuss it membership operator it is also very important operator membership operator are used to check a particular item is a member of particular collection or not here we have two membership operator that is in and not in in returns true if an item with the specified value is present in the collection for example here we have collection marks 80 70 60 50 and if we want to check 80 that is item 80 in the present in this collection marks so it will give uh, return true why because 80 is present in this collection similarly if we type 40 not in marks we can see 40 is not present in this collection so it will also give the result true this is the practical demonstration here marks we have 80 90 70 60 then we are checking 88 item 88 in marks and print z then it is giving the result false why because 88 is not present in this collection and similarly 88 not in marks marks it will give result true why because 88 is not present in marks so this is about membership operator this is check uh, to check particular item is present on collection collection may be tuple or or list for ex uh, next operator we will uh, so let's show the practical demonstration of this also we will do in pycharm that is membership operator so membership operators uh, suppose we have collection of marks that is 90 comma 80 comma 60 comma 70 and I want to check simply I want to check A equals to 88 in marks and simply print this A what it will return it will return false why because you can see it is returning false why because 88 is not in present in marks if we, I will type if I will type 90 in marks and execute this this will give true why because a 90 is the member of this collection similarly if I will type no not in 
90 not in marks it will give false by because 90 is present and it will give return false result so this is about membership operator now you have clear what is membership operator the next operator that we are going to discuss that is identity operator in python so identity operator check two objects for same value and type we have two identity operator that is is and is not is returned true if both object have same type and value for example x equals to 10 this is integer object and this is also integer object x is y both object have same type and same values and is not returned true if both object don't have same type and value here x equals to 10 y equals to 2 both are have different values so x is not y so here the practical demonstration of this x equals to 10 y equals to 10 then z x x y z x is y here x is a is identity operator then print z will give the result true because both object have same type and value now we i have taken another object uh, integer object that is y equals to 20 then z x is not y why because x is have value 10 and y have value 20 so the result is uh, sorry x is not y it is also written to y because x is not y because x has a value 10 and y has value 20 so it will also return true value so let's go on practical demonstration of this also in pycharms this is about identity operator So we have a equals to 10 and b equals to also 10 then we will check c a is b and simply check the value is true or false. Then I will execute this it will return true because both have same values if I will give the value is 20 or I will give RJ then check it will give false back because both objects are not same type and same values similarly is uh, is not which will give here the result true why because x is a is not b both objects are not of same type and same value so this will give the res uh, result true so this is about uh, the identity operator so this is all about uh, operator topic that we had discussed today hope you understand now so this is our uh, learning platform that is overguild dot com and isoftra dot com more videos uh, you can get here so thank you very much